Okay. Are you ready? Action! Since I am on television, I deem it necessary to wear what are called in the trade the rubber glasses. Anyway, we're already. We're looking for the glasses. This is the rubber water. This part, to me, is you know, it's it's a commercial action, futuristic thriller on the face of it. But at the heart of it, the thing that attracted me to it and I can even be so bold as to speak for Paul because it's the thing that attracted to him, attracted it to uh, him, and what attracted us to each other. At the heart of it is about the discovery of what it is to be human. Because I play a human being who's ostensibly killed and then turned into a computer or a cyborg or a robot, and then through the movie begins to have recollections through a series of events and begins to discover that he was once a human being and goes on this search, this journey to find out who he once was and, and it's a little fable, sort of like Beauty and the Beast about the search for the soul that's at the core of this film it's not about, you know, a bionic man or a bionic woman it's not about a human looking thing with mechanics inside, right? it's about a mechanical thing with a human inside. I mean, that's the twist here. Also, this is all very original and unique. Ain't nobody seen this stuff, you know, since Gort. You know where Gort's from? Trivia question for all you science fiction. Yes, sir. Barada Nikto, yes, sir. A great film by Robert Wise. The Day There Is Stood Still. But this is much more um, developed. It's, you, know, it's much, uh, you know, it's much more sophisticated than the 1950s robot. Uh, the difference is, though, as opposed to just the science fiction action or thriller film, is the story of humanity inside. The morality tale. You know, there's a little allegory in this, in this thing. It's not just an action film. <laughs> uh, anyway, these guys, uh, uh, they work bloody hard. You know? and, uh, it, takes, it takes them an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half to put uh, me into the thing. And then later on in the film, once I remove my hat, my helmet, I have a head that is, uh, you know, it's been shot and it's been fixed and it's been um, computerized etc and this is a whole nother design and that takes four and a half hours to put on the head alone and then another hour to put on this it ain't easy pal <laughs> it ain't all dames and glamour in case anybody asks so Stefan in there is the gaffer or like a crew chief. And Bart back here is the set boss. He runs everything on the set. It needs to be done. And Dennis here is like the chief mechanic, does all the supervises all the repairs because there are people working on this suit around the clock. Literally, there are people in the warehouse now repainting, restructuring other suits just like this, resiphoning them, getting them ready for wear. As you can see, as you may see soon, these suits take a lot of wear and tear. Every once in a while, one of these guys works a little bit longer than usual. And I stand here for a while and all of a sudden I go, what the hell's going on? They say quit moving or it's going to take longer. They say quit moving or it's going to take longer. These ridiculous things coming out of my ears are just ridiculous things coming out of my ears. Actually, they're pieces of rubble paper. Robo paper keeps a robo hat off my ears so I can listen to what in the world is going on around me. Not as easy as it looks. And there's a lot of great action in it too. I mean, not for nothing. To take 
the human condition story out of it, you take the romance out of it, you take the fairy tale out of the thing. There's a lot of great, great action. And it's being shot in such a way, as I said before, with Paul and uh, Yost. Uh, it's being shot in a style that I've never seen an action, action picture shot. So that's basically what the initial draw will be. And then when they walk away, they'll say, God, it was a great action movie. And yet, it was very moving and tender and sweet and wonderful and, you know, and curious.